During route collection, it's essential for the analyzer, or in this case, the CSI 2140, to notify you of impacts. To do that, I'm going to induce some uh, impacts into this uh, rotor kit, and then we want to be able to uh, be notified of the impact, and then also be able to analyze that impact. So to set this up, the setup is I hit my Alt key, I go to User Setup, the Auto Advance should be turned to zero, and the Save Data should be turned on. So I'm turning it on, I'm actually going to create some very quick non-periodic impacts. I'll collect data. And immediately we see it's gone from green, good condition, to warning, high alert. And this property right here is called maximum peak view on the waveform. This is actually analyzing a waveform parameter, not the spectral parameter. So to further look at this problem, I'm going to go hit my Alt button, which takes me back to where I can actually look at the waveform. Hit my plot data, and to, this is my waveform here, but I want to blow it up. So to blow it up, I'm going to actually change my switch plot type. I want to focus on my peak view waveform, so I'm going to turn off a couple extra plots so that my remaining plot is my spectral data plus my waveform plot from the peak view. And what we see on the waveform plot from the peak view is these specific peaks are where I was actually tapping. And uh, you can see that the G level on these peaks are 30 G's. This is because these taps are very instantaneous, small, quick bursts of energy. Now to determine if this waveform is a, it's a periodic event or totally a random event, the CSI 2140 comes with a tool called Enhanced Patterns. To get to Enhanced Patterns, I want to make my waveform the active display, so I need to change my active plot to waveform, tap on my alt button to where I see a, a button called enhance patterns, click enhance patterns, and what enhance patterns has done is basically removed all the energy that is periodic energy. And as you can see, almost all the way across there is very, very little periodic energy. And so what that tells me as an analyst is that this is not a problem due to a bearing or a gear. It is something that is a non-periodic, like my tapping. If this was a periodic event, we would see uh, events across the RPM lines that would correlate to fault frequencies. To return, I just press my Alt button, press my Back button, and I go back to the main screen.